guys welcome back to bl world drama your go-to source for the juiciest scandals in the world of bl and gls from trending hashtags to sizzling social media drama i've got it all join me as i dive deep into the lives of your favorite stars with exclusive updates secrets and interviews that will keep you hooked subscribe now ring the bell and let's dive into the glitz the glam and the scandalous world of bl and gls so let's get right into it so today's video is about me trying to unmask Becky e spirit or at accept underscore the underscore truth on Twitter or on X. First of all, I would like to say I don't believe it's one person. I do believe like it's a collection of people. Before I did think like the e Becky e spirit is someone that goes maybe on different social media, like source out the information and then post the information on x maybe gets the video on weibo and then post it on twitter but i have come to realize that it is not the case and i do believe like it's a group of people and when i do say it's a group of people i think like like the way we have pineapple cn or we have the friend becky fandom in the us i think like it's a group of people that have made like their own group whereby like their main thing is to make sure that they keep the friends saying hashtag trending and they're able to feed information here and there, make comments here and there so that they can be able to like bring up a fire for other people to follow the trend and to talk about friends saying every single day. And I do believe that these people are not actually like the head of like the group i do believe that they are not actually ties because of a few comments that have been made first of all like today they say the the account said that ties are liars which specifically to me would look like that person might not be of that nationality again this video is all about speculation and it's all about my thoughts and all that and i will be providing like screenshots of images that have made me to think and to say what i am saying and then they also there was also a tweet that they made like earlier on whereby they said and i quote idol factory our friends in thailand are following your girls and said and they said we no longer need your stalker you think you are in control but you are not so like they did say that they were actually saying that them themselves or the person that runs the account can't be in thailand or isn't in thailand but they are people and they said oh. they said my friends or our friends they said our friends so again i do believe like it's like a web so it's probably not like only asia it might have like other people investors or whoever that are funding it are funding the group from different parts who feel like they were cheated or something so i don't understand whereby they say that we don't need your stalker does it mean that they had a deal with idol factory be before things turned sour or is it that idol factory like gave them a person who used to feed them information like first-hand information again we know that right now x like people are paid for engagement so the first the person who was the news first actually gets paid more so i think probably maybe what they are trying to say like they had someone like in idol factory who used to feed them information about the girls and then them now they could feel the information to the masses to other fans so i think that's what they meant that they don't need your stalker and you think we are in control but you are not so like again i believe that anyone can be bought and everyone has a price and that price might not necessarily be money it might be something else so maybe the person who was meant to like feed them information turn tables so i wouldn't know again assumption so another thing they said is that 
Pichen called Becky's mom the B word and their friend had Pichen. So I do believe they do. Again, if Idol Factory did give them someone who was feeding them information about friend and Becky, it means that this person might still like provide like these people with information and if they said my friend had pitch and called becky's mom the b word that means like they have inside source in idol factory and this is not news because we know like there's so many fan bases who always say they have inside source and this inside source can come in different forms they can come from actors because we know with every agency there is like the a list actors the b list the c list and probably the d list so it might be any of the actors who is their source and who had like picture and say that or it might be any staff in the agency who had like picture and say these words that works for them right now or is under the, their payroll and then says that friend still lives with the in the same residence and saying visits her often so this is also me thinking that probably again they have like an inside source someone who like either friend is so close to and like tells like tells them about their day or updates them about that everything that they have going on so they do know of the ex when like friend is home where friend is currently living and like their her relationship with saying and whether saying like visits her or not so again the account says that they know the brands contacting idol factory with work to work with becky and friend and they know like the deals that pichen turns down because like he wants friend and becky to work as a team and the brands that he increases the value so if they don't want to take friend and they only want to take becky so all this like falls under that they have a mall inside inside idol factory so that mall now is like it can be a range of so many people but we do know that it's someone that specifically knows about the deals so it is someone that maybe those documents pass through or is aware and someone who is at the round table when they are discussing about those deals again actors or them specific managers or let me say personal assistants so yeah i think that's where the person like the source is so they know the inner workings of of like idol factory and when idol when saying like was part of idol factory and then sold his shares and then like wanted to buy them again and then Saint like made a suggestion that they do open a new company, which is being said to allegedly be Honey Lime. I'm not sure. And like what? So now Saint, Saint and Friend like are part of the owners of an agency called Honey Lime Entertainment, which is still not proven. So I don't know how like they found out that information. And then they do know about friend paying compensation for a Chinese ad. I think that she wasn't able to participate in because of the whole friend things fiasco. Again, the inner workings of IDF, meaning that they have like control of the documents that pass through Idol Factory. And then they also said that, said, I came back today just to let them know that we are among them and they don't know and they don't know. Again, that is a tweet that the account also made that they were among Idol Factory. So they were among, they used the word they were among. So their source might not necessarily be one person. It can be two or three. So it is just a guessing game. But what I am certain of, like they do have someone or people. But I'm thinking someone because, you know, people... There is no secret between two people. Like if we are two people and we are doing something that is kind of illegal, one person is bound to make a mistake. Other than 
like when you are one person you just know how to maneuver other than having another person that you have to like hold their hand so i'm thinking it's just one person and they also know like how becky's interior is so probably the person who is feeding them is information has also been let inside becky's home again i am forgetting it might not only be the actors their managers their personal assistant it might also be like their stylist or their makeup artist because we know women when we are getting our hair done and like everything and our makeup done we do talk a lot so probably that's when they gather the information when these girls are talking when the people around them are talking so it might just not be like that it might be a makeup artist yeah a makeup artist or a stylist so they go ahead and say that they know of all the legal procedures that idol factory takes and they know they they also say like they know like when pineapple cn made a statement that they were decamping like frame and becky like they were the first people evil becky evil spirit or becky e spirit was the first account to say that it wasn't false it was false that pineapple cns weren't going anywhere so i also do believe like they do have like someone inside pineapple cn who is also feeding them information so i do believe that again when i said it's a web so i think like these major major fan bases plus idol factory i think they have someone planted everywhere and these people are able to provide them with information and that's how they take their steps again today like there was another account yesterday that came out and allegedly said that they were going to release like an alleged 14 min minute video today that hasn't happened yet and i'm thinking that it was like false what i do believe like the only video that they do have maybe their alleged source was the one who acquired the 14 second video hear me out the 14 second video and maybe they were in a hurry to record it and then after recording it they couldn't get like the full length this is me thinking or maybe yes they did have the stalkers like the pictures that that saying did post which i don't know where those the actual angle where by he got the pictures but if they were like from the apartment that they had like were kissing again in the video in friend statement and in saying statements none of them com confirms that that apartment is theirs saying doesn't say that apartment is his and friend doesn't say that apartment is hers so here am i thinking what if the apartment that they were kissing was from the inside source what if those people were able to capture the video because the inside source made sure to let them in and told them exactly where to be and where to capture the video i don't know if you are, you guys are understanding me what i'm saying so this whole thing was planned from the inside source and from these people that called themselves anonymous e-spirit becky e-spirit friend e-spirit whatever they want to call themselves so they did like take the video so now i'm thinking maybe the 14 minute video might e exist or might not exist and the fact that i am gearing more towards it not existing is because if they wanted to release it at a time where it would have made the biggest impact they would have released it the day of the uranus like release trailer release and all that because i remember that day i think friend becky trended for i think three days if i'm not wrong or two days at most 
Like if they wanted to like shatter everything, they would have released that 14 minute video then. The fact that they haven't been they haven't released it until today and are playing like a scare tactic game whereby they like oh we'll do it on Becky's birthday or we'll do it on Urena's project whatever release or something I don't know maybe it's the box set re release or something I don't know something about Urena's but I do know Urena's is coming on 2024 so for you to stay with the video for a year to release it a year after after people have moved on and actually right now they are like a lot of upcoming gls that are going to come from like late this year to early next year people would have moved on there are people who from the fandom who would have gone to other people we know bl and gl fans like they migrate like from one fandom to another so who are you keeping that video for necessarily is it like are you are they waiting to sell it do they have a customer at hand or someone because friend did say and saying that they were blackmailed and pineapple saying that they were blackmailed to put up money to be given the video and when they didn't that's when the 14 second video was released so i think it's either that either they are like waiting or negotiating to sell it to someone or are still deciding whether to sell it to someone or the video doesn't exist at all and to me i do believe like the video doesn't exist at all because if like you read the the tweets that this account makes it's like they are trying to fight for the lgbtqia community and when you are fighting for the lgbtqia community and you are not actually trying to like help them move forward or like stop like harm from coming to them it like makes me believe that that might not necessarily be your goal so we will see what happens like from today onwards but for me i'm sorry guys but i don't think the 14 minute video does exist so it's either you just support friend becky or you just move to another fandom. It's that easy, but I don't think there is a in between. So if any new information comes out, I will let you guys know. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Turn on the post notification. Give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.